Are you concerned with the cosmetic and strength reduction effects of weld lines on your part designs? There are many approaches to mitigating these effects, but a few of the simpler ones are changing gate sizes and using an offset overflow well. These approaches have the potential to move the weld line location, as well as change the meeting angle and temperature when the weld line forms. A great way to compare these options is to use the Compare Results feature in Moldex 3D to compare the weld line results. On the far left, we'll have two identical gates on either end of the tensile bar. In the center, we'll have an offset overflow well, and on the far right, we'll have a small gate on the top and a large gate on the bottom. And I'll hit sync all so that when I zoom in, all three parts zoom in to the same degree at the same time. The weld line meeting angle is the angle at which two melt fronts converge, ranging from 0 to 135 degrees. If the welding angle is 180 degrees, then the two melt fronts can be considered as one. If the welding angle is 0 degrees, then the two melt fronts converge head on. Weld lines are weaker the smaller the meeting angle is. In the first case, the, the weld line meeting angle shows up in red. This is going to indicate a high weld line meeting angle. Um, we do see a reduction in the weld line meeting angle in the second case, and then again in the third case. The weld line temperature is also important. Increasing the weld line temperature may diminish its appearance by increasing the chain entanglement of the two melt flow fronts. In our first scenario, the weld line temperature is approximately 574. We gain almost a full degree in the second scenario, and then in the third, we actually lose a couple of degrees. So here, the middle example with the overflow well is going to be the ideal one to give us the highest temperature. We can also use Moldex 3D to determine the weld line location. We'll click on the tool tab, select distance, snap to the end of the feature line for the cold runner gate, and then snap to a mesh node along the weld line. Select save. Then we'll select our next window that we want to make a measurement in, hit the space bar to repeat our command, and just repeat that process. So we can see for the first and second example, the weld line location is 3.115 inches down from the cold runner gate. So the weld line didn't actually move at all. Whereas for the third, it is 2.295 inches down from the cold runner gate. So we did actually have some weld line location change there. So to summarize, with Moldex 3D, you can compare weld line meeting angle, weld line temperature, and weld line location to determine which design is going to work best for your part.